Hey guys, Scarlet Darkwood here. Happy in bulk. This is the day where we celebrate the Irish goddess Brigid. She was the goddess of Ireland and pagans recognized her for her care of women, children, and animals. And that was the big things that they recognized with this goddess. And she's very popular. And February the 1st is the day that we celebrate her. And so if you're into paganism or into deity worship, this would be a day that you would celebrate in bulk. And it is the new year, actually. It's, it's the time in between the winter and the spring. That we know that spring is soon about to come. We're in between waking stages and it's where we are anticipating the light. And this is the time we start to let go of the past, let the old be gone, welcome the new, and in many cases some celebrate this day as the new year. And I'm not into deity worship or into deities really. I know a lot of people are, but I didn't celebrate or do anything for Imbolc last year. And I thought I would try something this year. And so I have set up on my altar, I've set up some snakeskin and a vial, and I have set up a serpent offering plate, and I have set up a little carnelian crystal to represent flame, and I've put a candle there. Because Bridget likes offerings of candle, water, the representations of her are snakes, serpents, corn dolls, the Bridget's Cross. I didn't have corn dolls or Bridget's Cross, but I, I did have some snakes shed and I had a serpent offering bowl. And I put some tea, also loose leaf or loose herbal tea is, is an offering that she likes. And I'm a big tea drinker, so I, I totally get it. But I placed some of that in my offering bowl. I placed a few different kinds. I got some uh, chrysanthemum, I got some Damiana, and just some other little different types of herbals that I put along the body of this bowl. It's really interesting, and you're going to see it in a few seconds. But I put all this out to represent her, and I wrote a poem. She's also um, the uh, goddess of, of poets. She loves poems. I've written a few in my day, but I thought I could write a poem and light a candle to her and do some offering of tea. And I thought, I, I don't know what exactly I would write, so I had to rack my brain thinking, okay, if I were writing a scene to a novel and one of my characters needed to leave an offering to her or ask a favor for her, how would they do it? So I came up and made up just a short little poem and so what I'd like to do is show you the altar, light the candle, and I would like to recite the poem. That way we can celebrate in bulk together. If you celebrate in bulk, let me know what your comments are below. I'd love to hear it. If um, you have any other suggestions or any uh, poems you've made to Bridget, I'd love to hear it too. I am an author, I do write books, so check out my About section and see the books that have occult themes. And now I am going to show you what I did for the offering for Bridget for M Bulk. By Bridget's hand, we clear the way for us to start anew today. May bygone days retire in haste. May every shadow be erased. And through the year may peace reign true with love and care in all we do.